pals it's emma from paint point studios and different location again not really um <laughs> i'm just not filming at my desk which is where i'm used to filming i'm filming on my bed so the next couple of videos might look a little bit funky while i'm trying to figure out how best to film in this new environment um i have a new camera and lighting system i'm actually going to be able to show you guys what i'm doing with my hands at certain points which is really cool i do also have a wireless mic i am not wearing it right now it is charging because i forgot that it needed to charge yeah, so the next couple unboxing videos are probably going to look a little funky while i'm figuring things out but I have the next Premier Club model here, Constantia, uh, which was painted by Christian Cremel and sculpted by, um, I believe, Briar doesn't say it, but it's Kitty Handrill with some minor tweaks by Maggie Bennett, which looks to include a new mane, a new tail, and a really wicked cool base. Now, I've been waiting for a new pacer for like a long time, so I'm super excited about this. I'm not 100% sold on the color of the plastic one. I just want to state that um, Kristen did a phenomenal job with uh, the like actual colorway design, but it's always a matter of will things translate well to plastic? And sometimes the answer is no, but I don't know that for sure because I haven't seen it in person. So I want to reserve any judgments until I actually see the thing in person. So we are going to go ahead and get this bad boy open and show you. Trying to keep my address hidden on the box. There we go. Constantia Briar Premier Collection 2022. The Standard Red is one of the best known racing breeds in the world. Developed in the US and first registered as Standard Reds in the late 1800s, they got their name from the fact that historically the horse had to meet racing speed standards in order to be registered. The Standard Breds Foundation includes Thoroughbred, Morgan, and Narragansett Pacer bloodlines. Standard Breds can be seen flying down the harness racing track at either a pace, a two-beat lateral gait, where the foreleg and hind leg are the same on the same side move in unison, or the trot. Their well-muscled shoulders and hindquarters give them incredible power, making them the fastest trotting horse in the world and allowing them to reach speeds upwards of 30 miles per hour while pulling their jockey on a silky cart, sulky cart behind them. Constantia is a fine example of a racing fit mare in her prime. Sculpted as a collaboration between the talented artists who created Briar's Lonesome Glory and Maggie Bennett, Constantia has been captured mid-trot. With her determined expression, phenomenal leg extension, and mane and tail flying behind her, it's hard not to picture this beauty tearing down the racetrack to raucous cheers. While standard breads are commonly, commonly bay, Sabino markings have been known to appear on occasion. In her first work for Briar, artist Kristen Carmel gave Constantia a spectacular bay Sabino coat. A chalky base coat really allows her gorgeous shading to come through, and thoughtful details like the slight sun bleaching in her mane and tail breathe life into this powerful mare. Now, I applaud Kristen for doing like a crazy color that no one would consider like a normal standard bread color because the thing with the premier club and now you're never gonna make anybody like you're never gonna make everybody happy and this is coming from somebody who has also spent um a while designing horses for production is you're never gonna make anybody happy but when you're paying premier club prices for something you kind of want something that um it's not too plain but it's still realistic for the breed so you you need to do a lot of thinking, a lot of brainstorming. And there are reference photos for this horse. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to toss them up in the video, but there are reference photos. <laughs> we get a Briar calendar or a cal cal we get a Briar catalog, Briar catalog. COA, which I'm not taking out yet because I'm unsure whether or not I'm keeping this thing OF. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch camera angles and show you the pony. Like I said, you guys will have to excuse a little bit of weirdness right now. I'm filming on my bed. So stuff is a little bit maybe wobbly. I've got my laptop stand here until I figure out something better uh, to do this with. She comes in the Premier Club Briar, like, suede bag. Suede-ish. 
faux suede bag. Here's Pony. Instead of like tugging the bubble wrap off, I'm just going to cut it in certain places. It makes repacking this a lot easier if I actually want to put her away. I'm already really loving the fact that I'm able to do these kinds of cam camera angles for you guys because I was never really happy with our unboxing videos before. This is so much nicer. Oh my god, there's so much tape. If I do decide to keep this OF, I have a show coming up at the end of the month and we'll see how she does. If I have a nice one, it's going to be even harder to, to say I should paint it because I actually think this is a very unique Pinto pattern. And like I said, I fully applaud Kristen for um, going out of her way to find something that's crazy cool like this. So I'm not sure I'm a huge fan already of the Ronin over the back. You guys can see that like drastic change. Oh good, that's just a blah. You guys can see that drastic change of color in the Ronin over her bag. It's okay. Feels like it could have been handled a little bit better, but that's not on Kristen, that's on Briar. Oh my. Okay, I actually like her way more than I intended to. Um, she's this super, super pretty deep bay. And the chalky base coat, like, okay, Briar is not known for, like, their finesse when it comes to pinking and all that. Look at how nice this is actually shaded. These chalky white markings are shaded. That's not pink. That's, like, a really nice peach. Same with her muzzle. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, there we go. I love her eyes, too. That's incredibly well done. This paint job really complements Kitty's sculpt work and then Maggie's redone mane and tail. That's super pretty. Let's get her away from the camera again. I don't see anything wrong with her markings. I, you know what? I'm actually sold on keeping this OF. I really like this a lot. I'm a huge fan of all the action here though. Like, I actually like this side better. As far as the Ronin goes, I feel like there's a lot more there than there is here. Although that could also be because I have like two bright lights shining on me right now. But I don't see a single flaw in her paintwork. And look at that, look at the nice carved out hooves. There's not a lot of shading in the hooves, but it is a briar. So you can't expect like, like artist resin level quality out of this. However, this horse is absolutely stunning. And I, I really, I do, I do think I'm going to keep mine off. I do. The only thing I can see is that she's got a little bit of overspray right there, but that's even on her off side and she doesn't have it on any of these leg markings. So what a stunner. And I'm going to go ahead and pop the base open because I love the dynamic base. I love how she's like in the air. This is the standard bread that we have needed for like, like not need, not even need, like desperately needed for a long time now, because I know some people really love their vintage. But the old pacer just isn't going to cut it. And I think that starting with Constantia here, you're going to see a big change in the thoroughbred and standard bread classes at Model of Our Shows. This girl will dominate. And look at the neat base. Now, I'm not actually sure which way the base goes. Let me look at the box here. So it's going to curve towards us. 
it probably doesn't like 100% matter or does it curve no maybe it curves towards us hang on does it matter all right fits like a glove so there she is base and everything included she's not going to stand very well on a mattress however she is really really cool ah so uh <laughs> there's there's my constantia review i actually i really really like her a lot and that is saying something because i did not expect to i really really didn't um i wasn't the biggest fan of zafira when she came out I love the sculpt, like I think the sculpt has a certain elegance to it, uh, but the color, not really my thing. So that one will get painted, watch out for that. But this one is safe, guys. I, I, I honest to God, I, I really do think that this one is safe uh, with me for a while. So um, on that note, I also want to slip this in. Coloring books. Uh, I, I will definitely make like an official post about this at some point, but we now have Paint Pony Studios coloring books. They feature a lot of the artwork from the sticker club. I'll show you guys like there's Dryad and then this is Antiquity, which is November's. So there are a lot of fun illustrations in here. Um, ones that you guys have seen, one that you guys haven't seen. Um, so if you want coloring books, keep an eye out on our website, our social media. I might do like a stupid little ad on here. We'll see, but like, looky, artwork that you guys haven't seen before. Artwork that I've never posted before. Um, and there's 48 pages of it. 48 pages. Uh, so I'm, I'm super duper excited about this. It's called Fantastical Equines. And it's, it's not the first coloring book I've ever done. I actually did a coloring book for Stone uh, four or five years ago now, which is insane that it's been that long. But anyway, coloring books are coming soon. Keep an eye out because I will probably post something here and on Facebook and Instagram. But Constantia, I love her a lot. And I'm really excited to see how she does at shows. I honestly, this one is staying OF and I can't wait until more come out because I want to paint them like really, really badly. I want to see her in so many colors. This is, this mold is probably going to become a new addiction for me. And I, it scares me because she is long. She's really long. She's going to be a shelf hog, but that's okay. I can take it. All right, Pony Pals, I will see you in the next video. Bye.